Nothing in this podcast is intended as investment advice and the people in this podcast may hold positions in the stocks they talk about. Do not buy any investment based solely on a tip or recommendation. Please do your own research. Welcome to another midweek takeaway. Today we're going to be talking about an investment outside of our normal comfort zone, I'd say, and that is cryptocurrency. Not your average crypto, though, is it? Is it going to be a coin, a people's coin, and one which is used for multiple currencies? We're joined today by Pedro Macosta, founder member of Buzaba. Welcome, Pedro. How are you today? Hello there. Good evening. Do you want to tell us a little bit of background about how you, know, how you got to where you are and, and, and the, the ideas behind Buzaba? Sure. I mean, it's it, it's it's a fantastic story, really. I mean, it, to this, it, I'm still just amazed how everything just took off. Um, going straight to, to to the beginning, how it all started. But it's, it started with COVID, really. COVID nineteen lockdown. Um, I find myself at home, uh, no job, no income, nothing, bored. And um, we have a, a market crash as well on, on the stock market. So because I, I followed the stock market for a good 30 years now, it was as a hobby first, you know, in the early 90s, those days you would go to the TV to, to, to see the, uh, the prices on the teletext. <laughs> it was that, that there was no internet, you know, uh, no apps. So, um, yeah, I opened, a, I started a group about stocks and shares on, on Facebook. And that really took off. I mean, um, people joined and they, they were talking about the uh, the stocks and shares they buy. And uh, it was very heated up and the group started growing from a thousand members to two, three, four, five, six. And we find ourselves in, in months, we find ourselves with 10,000 members, you know. And again, because these days you can buy with, with uh, shares with an app, with a phone, it, it was a very hot topic. So th- that was it. It was great. Um, in the meantime, uh, more and more people are talking about crypto, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin. And there was a lot of uh, resistance to crypto being discussed in our group. In fact, I mean, they, they were arguing, you know, people were ready to, to, to meet up and fight over it. It was crazy. So I thought, OK, look, let me start another group, another Facebook group and and take the crypto there, you know, the crypto talk and post. And, and that one just went crazy. It just grew and grew. I mean, more and more people were jumping in and because I wanted to start our own currency, our own cryptocurrency, and everybody was just excited about it. They want to, to, to buy the coin. They want to hold it. So I, I just came, you know, I just I spent days and days thinking of how to, I look at all the other coins out there and I said, how can we do a different one? You know, how can we stand up basically from all these, puppies, dogs that you have, Shiba Inus and all that, you know, how can we be different? How can we really make a change? And that was it. You know, I I, I thought of the the structure that we have now with Buzaba, which is a peer-to-peer transaction coin, just like Bitcoin. You can buy goods, pay with it. So we're going to be the same. And we're going to have seven wallets, the seven vaults that are kind of like a bank, you know, a vault with, uh, with coins in it that will go up in value as people buy the coin. So that will be used for charity. It borrows on the, on the Satoshi, um, uh, Satoshi wallet, which we can talk about later if you, if you want to mm-hmm. know, but that's the principle. And, and that's where we are now. We, we, well, to sum up, we, we have a huge group now of over 200,000 members and we've got the founding members that are just over a thousand and that's where we are. You know, we've got people from all walks of life. We've got retired judges. We have uh, uh, housewives, cleaners, plumbers. Uh, <laughs> it's it's great. It's it's really you know it's you can feel the buzz. You can you can yeah. feel the. I, I like it because in this current climate with all the ESG things that are happening, you know, all the compliance. And obviously with, with the environment, I yeah. mentioned in, in the one of the potential vaults that, that there could be an environmental um, charities that, you know, that help in the oceans, helping reduce carbon, et cetera. Or, so that, that I like that fact that you've, you've, you know, you've opened it up to the founder members and you've said, 
guys, what do you want? This is the people's coin. I really like that. And that's very current, right, at the moment in, in with COP26 happening and obviously with, with um, problems in, in war, you know, Yemeni and places like that. And you mentioned earlier, you you understood what it meant to be hungry and, and your, yeah. you know, your background. So yeah. you, you, you wanted to give something back, really, from this, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the the, the, the seven volts, basically, um, the reason why I created seven is because I would like to have each one uh, dedicated to a certain cause. So you have uh, world hunger, you have uh, education, and you have the environment. The, the environment wallet actually was, was we came up in a poll, we did a poll, yeah. you know, what wallets would you like? We gave, we gave uh, a list of, of, of names for the wallets, you know, for causes and, and the community voted. They voted on on so environment is one of them and yeah it's going to be about cleaning, cleaning the oceans get that pl- horrible plastic that's out there. Um, charity is very important. It's it's the the backbone of Busaba. You know, charity is the most important thing for me and a couple of people. Yeah, we cannot change that. Okay, so how I mean, how far are you, how are things progressing? Obviously, it's going to be a very a very time consuming process. You've got a lot of people project managing things behind the yeah. scenes. Yeah. I mean, you know, funny enough, we, we were ready to go. We, we were ready to go on the decentralized exchanges. Of it. There's many exchanges, uh, if you look at the crypto world, how it works. But because we have such a big community, um, they wanted to go to the top exchange. So the exchange is where you buy your, your coins, you know, and they wanted to go to the top, which is Coinbase. Coinbase is, uh, is an American company listed on the NASDAQ. You know, it's safe. It's got a good reputation. It's never been hacked. A lot of a lot of the other ones have been hacked. People lost their, their because what when you hacked, I mean, when they, when these exchanges are hacked, basically they transfer your all your coins to another wallet. That's that's what happens. Uh, Coinbase never been, you know, and because they're aiming for that, it's taking longer. You know, also we were going to be a, a blockchain with our own blockchain, and then we decided to go for ERC uh, twenty token, which is based on the Ethereum platform we were advised to, for what we want to do we were advised to use that it's the best for us uh so we've changed that we've gone back we sort of went back to the drawing board really and that's why it's taken longer but i don't mind that you know i mean sometimes i think this this is too many cooks here you know and like the old saying you know too many cooks spoil the broth we've got four project managers can you imagine four and then we got the the developers and then the community that meet in in, in whatsapp and they, they just discuss this and over and over and over and, and, you know, we go around, but we see results, you know, it gets better and better and better. You know, the, the final product, is, it's getting better. And, and that's what I'm happy with, really. Tell me what sort of proportion is of, of this coin is going to be involved in the uh, charity side of things and what proportion is mm-hmm. going to be available to the public? Yeah, yeah very good question. Um, Initially, I, I thought of the seven wallets, um, and each wallet is going to have um, between, well, I want the 5% of the total token. So you're looking at 35% in, in, in the wallets. That is a, a really good amount. You know, uh, Again, this is all about investing now for the future. So as the Buzaba coin goes up in value, those seven wallets go up in value as well. It borrows on the, on the Satoshi well, supposedly, I mean, if you if you if you read the media, what media says, there's a wallet. The founder of Bitcoin, he has a wallet with just over a million uh, bitcoins. Okay, so those 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 million bitcoins that he probably mined them on his computer on his laptop can't be done now. Um, they are now worth billions because what's happened over the years they've gone up in value. So the seven wallets borrow on that concept. You know, I've I've kind of didn't cook it up. I kind of borrowed that from, from, I love that idea, you know, as people buy, as you buy and other people buy, those wallets go up in value and those will just be used for charity. Now we have uh, a structure for the wallets. They're going to be in the hands of trustees and guardians. We got someone in the, in the group that's got 20 years experience working with charity, 20 years. So he's setting up the, the trustees and that side of things. So uh, we will not have access to, to do so when it comes when the time comes and, and we want to give to charities because by the way we are going to give to charities that already established like the red cross like water aid 
uh, you know, feed the children, that sort of, so we will give to them and then they will, will uh, and the, the members will decide which, which charity gets and which one doesn't. So environmental is one of them, uh, uh, education, water, a, you know, so it's, it's all going to be done by the community. There is no one in charge of those wallets. Well, there's not one single person who can, who can, um, in fact, the developer, he, he's doing multiple, I think called multiple signatures. You need three people to type in a password. Okay, so the password will be divided in three and each one has a segment of that password and then the transfer will be done. All that is going to be on the white paper. It's, it's impossible to, to, to take any money out to do any, 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 uh, any fraud. It's, it's fraud proof, basically. And that's the beauty about blockchain. You know, that's what, that's what the blockchain is about. You know, is every time a transaction is made, it's recorded by millions of computers. That's why people talk about these, uh, you know, electricity fees and electricity bills. That it's very com consumer hungry because there has to be. It's it's many many computers um, monitoring that transaction, so it can't be fraudulent. It will only go through if everyone agrees to it. Well, not everyone, but every computer agrees. So it's the technology I, I love it i mean i I'm, I'm not a techie you know i'm not someone who's a, who's a developer or a coder but i read about it and i find it i find it fascinating you know it's, it's here to stay what sort of time scale then do you think before the white paper comes up well the white paper is a draft at the moment it already exists and the reason why he's got the word draft there is because we're just waiting for that final um tokenomics of it uh, we will only know that when once the coin is done, finally done. The tokenomics will will have the the percentage for the founders for the so myself and and eight twelve of us. It's, it won't be more than five percent. So if only five percent, and that includes the admin wallet. So the admin wallet will will have uh, some coins for promotion for marketing. Um, it's very exciting, you know. The, I mean, a lot of these people they know celebrities who do charity work already. And if you go to a lot of the the charity uh, websites, like for example WaterAid, they have what they call ambassadors, you know. And these ambassadors, people like uh, Ronaldo and uh, uh, celebrities from Hollywood, we engage engage in. in I mean, I, I, I think that's we can tap into that. You know, we can have these people support our coin. You know, because they already engage in, in, in charity work. They are ambassadors for for those charities. So it's all we're going to pick. It's all, you know, we're all going to feed off each other sort of thing. And there are some people in the group who know celebrities already. So like I said, they already do charity work. So yeah, it's brilliant. I just, I, I just can't wait to, to, see, to, see it, to see it finished, completed. You know, I've done the structure of it. I've done the website is, I did it as well uh, it's very very plain very basic originally it was supposed to be just to have a present because i registered the domain names the dot com dot io and all that so i thought let me put something up just so that no one uses it you know uh but people like it because and what they like about it is the simplicity of it you know it's it's crisp clear there's no jargon all the jargon will be on the white paper and then when you go to other to other cryptocurrency sites it's a little dark you know it's dark dark background full of jargon very confusing with our website it's straight to the point so i thought you know what i'm just going to keep it on that just going to keep it as it is we've got pictures of very children good. pictures of uh of uh you know i i you know I, I honestly believe that our children are our future you know, and, and we can make this a better world. I mean, I'm looking at you now. I don't want to be disrespectful. You have a lot of white hair. So do I. You know, we're not going to be here much. <laughs> We've got another 20 years. You know, I have a young daughter. I, I hope I have her. longer than 20 years, but uh, I'll take your point. I'm not, I'm not a spring chicken. So if I was to ask you now to put a date on when someone's going to be able to pay some money and buy these coins, when's it going to be? You know what? Um, I can get well when the rest of the team sees this, and I don't know if they can see this or hear this interview or how it's going to happen. They will come forward and they will tell you all the technical side of it. You know, we got developers doing it, and they will give you a date. I c I can't give you a date. <laughs> I don't know because, like I said, we've gone we're aiming high. You know, you know when you 
You know when you want to be a, a Formula One driver, you, you don't go into a Formula One car. You start Formula Three, and then two, and then you make it. They say, oh, you you start in, in 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 you know you don't jump into that. And what these guys are doing, they're jumping right into Formula One. You see, so they 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 aiming, and that's taking long. I can't give you a date, but if you talk to the, the developers, hopefully they can. People need to um, check the website, which I'll put the link in uh, to the website in the uh, in the podcast link, and I'll also put the Facebook group in so that people can join, and then they'll, they'll see the updates on there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, y- y- the best place really is to get um, updates from the the Facebook group. Uh, we have um, a YouTube channel just just gone live. There's a little clip there. One of the volunteers. <laughs> Great guy, you know, really genuine face. Young, young actor. He wants to be an actor. He did a little, a little clip about Muzaba. So we've got a, a YouTube, and um, there's an Instagram channel. I mean, these are not mine, by the way. The volunteers have them. You know, they they run these these websites, these other media things. But yeah, that's the probably the best place to to get updates. Yeah, would be. The, I, the I, I guess thing. the good thing is, is, is like anything, isn't it? You know, back back to the share element is if you can get in on the seed round or the I, pre IPO round or even the IPO round, you're getting in at the basement level. And the beauty of this is, you're also supporting charities, so that this is a really good ethical side of things. Morally, it's good, and also, you know, you're not just getting rich and rich fat cats getting richer like the most of this world. You're doing a good by buying the coin and holding it. And also you're giving people the opportunity to get in at that zero, 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 one level, which is literally basement level investment. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, for, for people who invest in crypto, that's an opportunity of a lifetime really is an opportunity of a lifetime. And, and, and another thing is, um, and this is why I don't mind the taking, taking longer with Coinbase because another, another thing is like you live in Britain, right? You're here and the exchange a new coin comes up, but it's it's an, in an American exchange. You you cannot buy it. You know you 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 out. So a lot of people are buying at that zero 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 one, but you're not. So when you jump in, you're already buying at at, at a price that has gone up thousands percent, and you miss out. So by going to Coinbase, we're going to give the opportunity to everyone, both in America and the UK and all over the world, to buy. You know at that initial initial price. And then, and then hopefully, you know, uh, hold it. I mean, we will encourage people to hold as long as possible, and they will, they will do it because I mean, you can see by the what's on the on the website that it's a genuine, uh, it's, a, it's a genuine coin. It's from the people, really. I mean, I, I wish you could. Yeah, I mean, let me just mention one one quick uh, another thing about the about the community and the people. I mean, we we've had these we used to have these discussions on on the Facebook page. And they were getting heated up, you know, so should we do this, should we do that? So I moved everything to a WhatsApp group. And so the argument and the fighting goes in there, what we should do, you know. So we kind of keep keep the the groups more positive and, and clean in a way, so more informative. Because when you have so many people involved, it's like it's like a chewing gum in the middle of, of the room. Everyone pulls in different directions, you know, it's like an elastic sort of thing. And in the end, what I've done, I created eight main people that nine people that are in charge of just developing this and getting it done. So we, we will, we will do what the community votes on through polls. You can see the polls in our group and what they want done. And then we will implement it. It's, it's just the best way forward. So hopefully you're going to have buy-in from at the very least these thousand people, and then it's going to go to the couple of hundred thousand people who are invested in crypto so you're going to have a very good start, anyway, uh, uh, in terms of the amount of cash that uh, should be. Have you yeah. have you any idea how much cash you would like to take in? I mean, that's that's the other thing because we we go into Coinbase. I mean, we now have a thing called liquidity. You know, so we need to have a good liquidity pool in it, and uh, that's going to come through the members, through the through a uh, pre-order, pre-sale. So that will just it's it's jumping. You know, it's it's going from baby steps to the biggest jump. You know, the, on the in the Olympics when they do the the triple jump, that's the biggest jump. It's just going to be phenomenal. So people will be able to not only to buy, but at the same time, you know, there will be enough liquidity for a solid coin. 
and presumably there'll, there'll, there'll be no big whales and there'll, there'll also be tines and lockings on the ori- original founders, you know, the seed rounders. So yeah. that'll be a really nice thing to, yeah. to, to, to for people. Yeah, to exactly. Know. I mean, it's transparency is number one because we've got we've got people with high profile jobs behind this. We are, by the way, they're all going to be listed on our team page. You know, uh, they work for big companies. There's one guy who works for a company that employs 400,000 people worldwide. It's a massive the other one, the developer, works for a company that employs 90,000 people worldwide. He's actually, his background is hardware, you know, not so much stuff. Anyway, so we, we got people that, you know, they, they have a reputation and they're not going to do uh, rug pulls. In fact, rug pulls will not happen because, like I said, each wallet is going to be uh, time locked. So you will not for a year or three or four years, I don't know how many years, I won't be able to sell any coins, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna, they're just going to, which I don't mind. I'm happy. You know, if it goes up in value, hey, brilliant. I mean, this is for the future, for my daughter. This is it's not for me. You know, I have enough money. I'm not rich. I'm not poor. I have enough to live and I don't want to, to be a multimillionaire. But yeah, in the future, there will be a lot of money in these wallets. You know, when, I'm, when I say the wallets now, I'm talking about our own, your wallet. Once you, when you buy in, you're going to have your own personal wallet and that will just let it mature, let it stay there, let it go up in value. Very good. All sounds very exciting. We're all going to be multi-millionaires and the world's problems will be solved by the trillions of pounds created in these wallets. So let's hope uh, it all works out. Let's hope you can manage the situation to get it on Coinbase and, uh, and that it gets launched and, and has, a, has a great takeoff. You know, it sounds uh, very exciting. This can really have a major effect on, on different things in the world. It would be amazing. Just imagine if 35% of Bitcoin value was available to the world. It would be wow. Yeah, you know, know, it, you know what you just amazing. said, there, what you just said, exactly what I based Buzabo on. You know, Bitcoin does nothing for charity, does nothing for the world, you know, and Buzaba does and will do because Bitcoin and all the other coins out there, it's just about getting rich, you know, greed. It's about greed, basically. And let's be honest, you know, for a lot of people, it's just pure greed. And Buzaba is not going to about be greed. You will make money, but we're gonna, we can change the world because yeah. those, those wallets, they're going to mature and they're going to get bigger and powerful and richer and richer. And, and, and that's going to go to the world. It's, we, you know, everything you said now, we are going to be rich and we are million. From your mouth to God's ears. That's all I can say. Pedro Macosta, founder member of Buzaba. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. This podcast was brought to you by Roast PR Limited. If you would like to appear on a future episode of the Sunday Roast, please email admin at thesundayroast.net.